Peter Underwood's Ghost Watch. You may have heard of Christiana Brand, the writer of thriller stories and children's books. I first met her at a literary dinner when she told me of her one and only experience of a ghost. An unusual one, a ghost dog. Her first job as a governess, straight from school, was to look after two small children at Weybridge. Their mother was marrying again and sent the children to stay with an aunt and uncle they had not met before. Christiana, of course, knew nothing about the family. After the children were in bed on the first evening, she joined the family for dinner. All seemed normal. The aunt at one end of the table, the uncle at the other, with what Christiana described to me as a big, curly-haired, lovable old Airedale lying at his master's feet. Sadly, the next morning, Christiana was woken with the news that the children's uncle had died suddenly during the night. A year later, she mentioned the dog to the aunt's son. What happened to your Airedale? And went on to describe the contented scene on his father's last night. And as she told me, she was surprised and puzzled to discover that although the family had owned an Airedale, exactly as she had seen, the dog had died three years before her visit to the aunt and uncle. Christiana could not explain how she'd seen the dog that night, but as she said, so many people, all down the ages, have claimed to see ghosts that I don't see how we can entirely disbelieve. Perhaps it's as a famous priest once said, if we do brush against the curtain of death, it's presumptuous to think it has anything to do with us. It's an accident. I'm Peter Underwood. Goodbye.